Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today we are going to install the sleep by number bed. And I have the receipt here. I didn't quite realize how much this bed was gonna cost. It is a R5 Short Queen Radius mattress. And with tax and delivery, it came to a total of $2,038 and 48 cents. So, if you are planning on getting an RV, queen size short round, it's gonna cost you about $2,000. Just a heads up on that. Also, when you are traveling from across the country, the bed must be deflated. To, 20, to a setting of 25. The reason for that is apparently if you go over 3,000 feet, the air pressure changes and the sleep by number bed inflates or deflates. So if you have it at a high setting, for example, my sleep number is 85 and Walter's is set at 25. So at my sleep number setting, this bed, if we were to go over 3,000, 5,000, or 10,000 feet, would pop. That would be a very expensive mistake because then we would need a new air mattress part. Okay, here we are <laughs> setting up the bed, the sleep by number bed. I'm sleep number one, here's sleep number two. Okay, <laughs> this is Rick. Hello. And that is Justin. And we are setting up the bed. Don't you love Imperial Wheat? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use the existing bed and the Dodge for movie time at the drive-in. Unless it fits Justin's, uh, what is your futon, huh? Well, it fit, can fit for Justin. Yeah. Have it. Why is this one so full? No, it's, it's supposed to have rounded corners. Yeah, this one is rounded. So this is rounded here. I think these go here. The, the rounded end goes in the foot. Okay. Yeah, and these go here. Okay, so sure. Yeah. go over it. Once the air things are in there, that thing will straighten out or get more rigid. Maybe we'll grab the Do they go at the head of the bed? Yes. Or the holes connect the holes are go to the head of the bed. Unless you want to sleep separately, then you... No, we do. <laughs> Walter, Walter, this is Walter's bed. Take your bed and go off. <laughs> I'm sorry? Just unzip your bed and just drag it drag off somewhere else. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> I did bring a little generator to the front seat if you want to okay. grab it so we can pump up the bed 
We need this guy? We don't know what is that? Yet. I don't know what it is yet. Where is that? It's in the front seat? In the I'll front seat. There's the truck. The truck, the truck, the oh. truck, the truck. Okay. See it? Yep. Okay, but we're not going to use that plug because we're they're like the power is not on here. Yeah, I'm looking for that black plug I have. Okay, so I have it right there. I have this little generator thing that I got in. It's on your side. Watch your back. My dad used to have one of these. I've turned into my father. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. My name's Gilbert now. Is that your dad's name? Yeah. Well, it's, oh. my, it's my name too, but I never used it. You know what my dad's name was? What? Walter. <laughs> <laughs> that's why That's why Justin gets stuff for Walter. Okay, so what did it say about altitude? Bring it down to 20? Uh, it said two. One, either disconnect it, or two, deflate the chambers to a sleep number setting of 20. 20, okay. Isn't that where Walter sleeps? 25. 25. So I'll just leave it at 25. Okay, just remember Walter's setting. Okay, 25 on both sides. I'll be happy about that. Yeah, it says rapid changes. The altitude will affect the air pressure inside the mattress. The chambers will be damaged if the pressure becomes too great. So if you leave it at your setting, they'll pop. They'll blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Our, oh look at that warehouse manager because I'm freaking miracle worker this yes you are this miracle worker isn't an official job title <laughs> I can go for that <laughs> you are our warehouse manager yep <laughs> so I had to get it <laughs> where'd you get that that's adorable it was on my Facebook feed so I ended up sorting off of uh, some <laughs> random website <laughs> it's great okay thank you Justin for doing sleep my number bed and thank you, Rick. You're welcome, sir. Okay, there's our other truck. I hope you enjoyed the process of putting the bed together. Bye.